This is a bit of an experiment to see whether, you know, whether I can film myself in the, uh, in the studio. Look at those pictures, you can see them. What I, what I can show is how beautiful some of the, um, some of the tin plates that I use, how beautiful they are. That's a green one. A pink one. They're often more interesting than the paintings themselves. And a yellow one and a purple one. Takes a long time to get the palette to look like this. I might say that normally the studio isn't this tidy and these shelves aren't this tidy. This is one of the benefits, I suppose, of being in a kind of isolation. Uh, Judy and I had a big clean up of the studio uh, last week, first time in 20 years, so it's never quite uh, looked like this and I'm not sure how long I can keep it like this, but it looks kind of neat at the moment. This is another benefit of uh, isolation. Uh, I ordered quite a lot of paint the other day and it came in a box all jumbled up and so I just needed to see exactly what I had. So I laid them all down on the, on the drawing table and say, so again, they make a beautiful pattern within themselves. And in the cleanup, I found this great old palette, you know, this is uh, mostly old oil paint and quite beautiful. And then these are the spades that I use as palettes. Um, I picked them up off the beach. I mean, I don't, the kids leave them on the beach. I, I mean, I don't jump out from behind the bushes and grab some two year old spade. But they're great things to have and of course they make a wonderful pattern on the studio wall. I got all the brushes or quite a few of the brushes and arranged them in the same way as like a bit of a wall sculpture I suppose. They're not probably uh, as clean as they should be. Some of them in fact get very very hard but you know hard old hard brush you can still get some beautiful things out of it so a brush like this is certainly what i used on a big painting like this this is a a, a reef painting i've been fascinated by coral reefs and diving and snorkeling uh, for my whole career uh, a painting like this uh, came from a trip that we as a family did to heron island recently and you know, you have to make it as beautiful as you can and then to really make it come alive, in the end, you've got to make these really big, fast, really fast movements over it. So fast that you hardly, uh, you don't think about it, it's just coming instinctively. And then, you know, you end up with, you know, quite beautiful things. You've got to be prepared to risk, risk everything. But when it works, I think it's really good. This is my uh, highly technical uh, tripod that I use when I'm trying to film myself painting. It's a, it's a piece of New Guinea pottery, really. But if you turn it around, or the bit of the tail's broken off, you can kind of balance the iPhone there and then you need to get this bird, which I think came from Brazil, and just stick the tail underneath it a little bit. And, um, you know, ready when you are, Mr. DeMille. I was cleaning out the studio. I came across these little set of paintings that I did sometime last year. Um, they're based on my memories of the my childhood and the trucks that we had. Uh, this was the first truck. We had a red truck. Well, my dad had a red truck. Then we had a blue truck. 
Then later on, my father had a very stylish uh, silver Sunbeam Torbred. Sunbeam Torbred. That was a great car. Now, there's another view of the red truck. And there's a green truck. I don't think we ever had it, but I quite like that green truck with the red door. And then later, my, my dad had a few Jaguars, so this is the, the feeling of a Jaguar. Little pictures, bit of fun. All right, so this is sitting in the studio where I don't often sit most of the time I'm painting. And obviously everywhere people are spending much more time indoors. It's not, it's not totally different from me. I mean, I love to come to the studio. I come the first thing that I can every day. And um, it's an opportunity, I think, for us to make a few little videos or little images of what it's like in, in, in my studio and what I like to paint and what I like to look at and what I like to, uh, what I like to do. And, and I hope you might like it too.